Hello everybody and welcome to a new season of Anno 1800, season two. We left off, uh, or well, I guess we concluded season one when the Hacienda Seeds of Change DLC came out. I thought it might be fun to explore uh, a new season by doing the campaign and then uh, moving over to the sandbox mode and just building out from there and also having some, uh, some NPC players. So we're going to have Princess uh, Queen, Princess King, King, I'm pronouncing that wrong, then Dr. Hugo Mercier and Benty Jorgensen as our uh, NPCs, as well as Jean, Jean La Fortune and Anne Harlow as our players. And of course, Madame Gahini, Eli Bleakworth, and Isabel Sarmento. So without further ado, we're just gonna hop right on in. Uh, also, the world, the world size is gonna be large. Island size is also gonna be mainly large. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put the, uh, the game settings in the description below. So if you wish to follow along, you can certainly do so. So let's hop in and uh, get this started. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember oh. when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. Here it is. Uh, just get plenty of distance on the throw. Actually, I wonder you if we can... You told me you had a sister. What else haven't you told me about? He didn't sound too happy. Oops. You never told me you had a sister. I don't know. I was hoping I could read it. Um... Yeah, I don't want to speed up the game too much in this Let's Play. Only so when we need to. to. Used to that smell of char. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? All the blistered fish they could ever want. Still trying to get used to that smell of char. All the blistered fish they could ever want. With that first bang, I knew it was you. So, come show me what you got this time. Let's deliver this fish. Now I've done the campaign a couple times, but I never really that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. Oh, okay. So this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. 
But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is endungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. All those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Think of them not as possessions, but as tools. You go mercy Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're a tool like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. I present my humble duty to you, and am confident you will transcend your present circumstance. Actually, I wonder if we can put it over here. So, Chapter 1, The Tale of Two Brothers. There we go. I'm really... I wish there was a way to toggle off the, uh, uh, the Quay Street. The Key Street? The Quay Street? Uh, 
I don't know. I shouldn't be picky like that, but uh, fortunately I am. Let's go... Uh, this. What do we need? We need one marketplace, 10 farmers residences. Fill in this area first. Well, we'll fill in this area first. We're just going to have fun with it. This isn't going to be a record build. Um, mostly just try and make beautiful cities while, while going through the campaign. Um, this uh, marketplace. Milestone. Age of agriculture. Nice. Well, our little people must make wood. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? Edvard. As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Yeah, he's Timber, not the coolest guy. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Put our population up a little bit. Three more. Yeah, so a little trick. What brings you here, Master? Little trick. Uh, if you're or whatever it might be, production facility doesn't reach the warehouse, you can actually put in the intermediate. Intermediate? Is that the word I'm looking for? So like, okay, for example, I want wood or timber rather. So let's say the wood doesn't reach my warehouse. Edvard, Prince and Bright Sands. I can have the little carts. Samuel's child, is it? Go to he my production, the sawmill production, and, father's expense. and then the carts will go from sawmill to the warehouse. That way you can kind of extend the length that uh, they can be away from the main warehouses, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. There's a little tip. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people.
I'm actually going to build the, uh, the whatchamacallit here, the pub. <laughs> Perfect, but what is? I know in our let last let's play, I don't know, I wasn't really careful with what I was building. I kind of just built, built, built. I'll try not to let that happen again. A little open air market. You reached a new milestone. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. All right. Well, we do need schnapps. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles. Maybe we can just place it here for now. Um. 70. Like a dockside brewery district. Oh. And, uh, we can actually like, so we need 72. We only have 72, 72 kind of doesn't round this out. Uh, if you copy the whole shift, you can actually make more than what you need. So, I mean, if you really want kind of square things off, it's perfectly possible. And I think that's what I'm gonna be doing, just uh, I don't know. Looks really cool. Yep. Unlock new buildings. Perfect. Get a pub down. Make these people a little bit more happy. No. There we go. Maybe build a fire station here. I'm close to the center. Throw down some shrubbery, because why not? So what's next on the agenda? We have to sustain the regions. Schnapps at 75 or sorry, 70%. The next one minute. I'm not quite sure. No, we got enough. I guess it's just going to take a moment for, uh, for things to really start. Take an effect, eh? That's fine. So I got these wires that are all over the place. All right.
Ah, here we go. Look, it's six. Sixty. That's uh, bright sands over there. Feels an eternity since the funeral and the cast. Oh, why, it was extortionate. Edward? Edvard? Repay me now or sell up. This guy's like. I feel sick to the jerk. stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. We'll, per we'll, we'll persevere. When will you show your family some gratitude? You reward our hard graft. Let's pause. Pause that for a moment. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. All right. Not much we can do until we get the schnapps. Speak so. to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Ready to repay my charity? You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. Don't think you're finished, brat. I loathe the reek of lanolin. But if farmer's smocks are all you have... Is there no limit to uncle's shameless demands? Uncle Edward. It's the worst person. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Come to ditch wa water, everybody. You gotta get five. Oh, wow. Keep out. Not a, a life away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. All right. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the Crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid. 
while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Yes, sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. Magnificent. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. The Enterprise of Mike Von Bites. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Yeah. Okay, so I think we got two quests here we can complete. Will you bring order to the scattered cosmos? Yes, we will. The chill already thaws. What do we got? Sweet rain after the long drought. All right. Explore this. You are too kind. Wait. Time okay. for nap in the hay. We need eight tons of potatoes. See what we got. Um. Oh yes, I was gonna buy a share. Of Princess Queen. Queen? Her island. You have a share. I must be happy for you. Yes, I'm not gonna buy it all, don't worry. here I suppose right we need workers clothing let's put that up here for now there we go Nice day for it. We need four workers clothes. Not, not a problem. Tell me you've managed some Baba black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Tanya, just the worst nice person. Nice point as a new turnip. The trust can't wait to see your astonishing work. It feels special doing a good deed. All right. 
Maybe we, we won't we rush through the... We don't have to trade. It's just in case. Uh, trade rights payment of 6,000. I don't How think so, Benty. Benty, that's a lot of money. Absolutely. It would have been absurdly easy to have... It is a pretty picture. You're too kind. Right, Volatile, how... vengeful, vicious. Yeah, sounds like me. Cool. Yeah, so I think once we get one you worker residence, a new milestone. we can remove this. The abandoned smelter. Workers can handle stubborn debris on ditch water. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Honest work, that's all we ask. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. I think that's all of them. But you know what we're going to do here? I'm going to make this... A little square. Oh, this is a new monument for uh, Hacienda. No, sorry, season four. What else we got? People and your fancy ideas. It's our human right. I like these worker residences. I don't. I don't know how I feel about the, the farmer's residence as a colored, though. Yeah, let me make him brick. All right, 150 workers we need. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. More. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. I don't know. I kind of want to build a city in here. I think that would be cool. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll snake it around up here. Hug the mountain. That'd be cool, too.
Oh my. Misclick. <laughs> Wake me up when you're ready. No. Uh it's got to be placed down there. Speed things up, see if we can get more of our uh, population settled. You reached a new milestone. Here we go. Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. There we go. Maybe we'll build another one. Well, we want four sails, is that what it is? if this is going to fit. Okay. There we go. All right, looks like we got another quest. Are you permitted to serve one such as I? Um, puzzle quest. Yeah, sure. Upon a cloud. 
Looks like we have some spies in our city. <laughs> Don't even mind the neighbor. One. Curious. I want to know what they look like. Oh yeah, he looks suspect. <laughs> oh. There we go. I need out with me lowly troubles. I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Keen as a three-legged goat. Ooh, what's this? All right, affects all animal farms productivity plus seventy percent and maintenance costs plus thirty-five percent. Where are my sails? Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Let's get a brick factory up and running. There we go. Twenty five wood. I want to get that item placed in a, uh, a workers' union, trade union, trade rather. Unions, the real universities. Oh. Will that affect the fish? We're no. taking every care. Hide the bottle. It's the boss. Comforting as a moist and springy sponge. Swear, Archie. <laughs> the things he says. Sala might be nice for, uh, for beer. This little guy. Too small. Yeah, let's settle here. Dream of wide blue horizons? Apply within. I feel better already. I 
I see you're exploring yet more islands. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to leave the episode here and pick up next time. If you like the content, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing everybody on the next episode of Anno 1800. Until next time, cheers.